Today, we're going to take a guided tour through the latest addition to Raid Tag Team Arena. This one works a little differently from Classic Arena. It has its own mechanics, as well as separate leaderboards and rankings. So let's start from the top. First, you'll see we've added a new arena map where you can dive into the different arena modes. Over there on the left is the Classic Arena, which pits two teams against each other in traditional four versus four battles. Over here, we have the new Tag Team Arena. Let's check it out and see what all the fuss is about. Now, if you know Classic Arena, then this screen's probably going to look familiar. You've got your Defense tab, where you set your defense, and then there's your Battle Log, where you can track your battle history. And here we've got something new, the Bazaar. We'll come back to that a little later. First, let's talk about what Tag Team Arena actually is. If you're paying attention, you'll notice this screen has one big difference from Classic Arena. Each of the opponents in this list has a lot more champions in their Arena Defense lineup. This is where the Tag Team Arena changes things up. Instead of a single 4 vs 4 battle, it's actually a series of 3 4 vs 4 battles. You can think of it like Classic Arena on Hard Mode. Looking at the opponents list, you'll also notice that the Tag Arena tokens look different than the Arena tokens you're used to. And that's because they are. Both the Classic and Tag Arenas have their own tokens, meaning you don't need to decide which Arena mode to focus on. In Tag Arena, you'll only get 5 tokens a day by default. You'll get another 5 at midnight UTC, but unlike Classic Arena, Tag tokens don't regenerate through the day. So if you use your tokens during the day, that's it. You're out unless you go and refill at the shop. Let's use a token and see how a fight plays out. We'll try this guy. The team selection screen is pretty simple, no surprises here. You can see exactly who you're up against. So here we are. Choose three distinct teams of champions, then fight your opponent's teams. Each champion can only be used in one battle per series, so you can't use the same champion multiple times, unless you've got duplicates. Once you've picked your teams, it's time to fight. Each individual battle plays out just like any other. Your champions attack their champions, they attack yours, and then someone wins and someone loses. The big difference here is that each battle is part of a series of three battles, so losing one battle doesn't mean you lose the series. It's best out of three. Whoever wins two battles out of three wins the series. This doesn't mean you should take it easy. Here's a very good reason to try to win all three battles. Each battle won or lost in a series decides how many Tag Arena points you'll get at the end. If you want to skip a battle, just pause the game and hit Skip Battle. But remember that it will automatically count as a loss. You can still win the series if you win the other two battles, but you'll lose that one you skipped. If, for whatever reason, you want to quit the series, just hit Quit Series. You'll forfeit the whole series, lose all the points, and be down to bronze in no time. But we don't want to do that. So here we go. We've won, and we're the greatest that ever lived. And now you can see what we're fighting for, Tag Arena points. As you can see, there are points on the line in each battle in a series. We won every battle here because we're awesome. But if we'd lost one of these battles, we would have come out with fewer points. Now, just like Classic Arena, your Tag Arena points determine your tier and exact position in the rankings. But unlike Classic Arena, there's a limit to the number of players in each tier after Bronze 1, and there isn't a hard point requirement to get you automatically promoted to a higher tier. Instead, it's a little bit like Classic Arena's Platinum tier. There's no upper limit to the points a player can earn in each tier, so only the best performing players, which means a small percentage of players with the most points, will get promoted. And vice versa, those who fall behind and find themselves at the bottom end of their tier will be demoted. This progress bar up top shows your current Tag Arena points, as well as the current highest number in your tier. It's also color-coded for your convenience. Red is bad. It means you're at the bottom end of your tier and will get demoted when the tier placement comes along. Yellow means you're somewhere in the middle and will stay in your current tier. And green means you're destined for greatness and will be promoted. Keep an eye on your progress bar to know where you stand and if you need to improve. We mentioned tier placement a couple of times there, and that's a key difference between Classic and Tag Arena. Instead of being instantaneous as soon as you earn enough points, promotion or demotion in Tag Arena will only happen at a set time, and that's tier placement. Right now, that's once a week, on Monday at 6 a.m. UTC. So, we've covered Arena points and tiers, but what else are you fighting for? This is the best part the real reason you want to fight in Tag Arena. Let's talk about Gold Bars and the Bazaar. Now, it's not open yet, but when the Bazaar does open up, you'll start winning Gold Bars from fighting in Tag Arena. Gold Bars are a high-value resource that you'll get exclusively from winning Tag Arena battles. 
You'll then be able to exchange those gold bars at the bazaar for a whole range of rare items. The higher your Tag Arena tier, the more gold bars you'll win and the better items you'll have access to at the bazaar. So your tier in Tag Arena is really important. Uh, that's almost everything, but before we wrap up, a quick word on Arena Defense. It's mostly the same as Classic, but instead of settling one Arena Defense team, you need to set three, with anywhere between three and 12 champions in total. And yep, just like Classic Arena, you'll need to set your Tag Arena Defenses before you can take part in any battles. And that's the end of the Tag Arena Guided Tour. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe for more raid content soon. Best of luck, and we'll see you in the arena.